people on the internet, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda and today's video is gonna be Get Ready With Me. First of all, I'm gonna apologize because I haven't uploaded a video in quite some time. I'm not gonna give any excuses but I'm just feeling a little bit down lately. And so yeah, now I'm ready to film more videos. So today I am going out with my friend to, uh, it's not really a celebration but kind of just enjoying the New Year's Eve. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm sorry, my hair is just such a mess. My hair is a little bit curly. First of all, I'm gonna use my primer. This is the professional primer. I'm just gonna make it fast because I think I'll include the hair tutorial as well. Not really a tutorial, it's just how I usually do my hair. After done filling my pores, I'm just gonna put on a CC cream. I don't really use foundations uh, because I don't really have one and I don't need one. So CC cream or LBB cream is just enough. You know. There's a little bit of redness here. Um, I don't know why. It's my face. Sometimes it happens. And I'm gonna put lip balm because uh, it's just super dry. This is my favorite CC cream. This is in the shade, I believe, the lightest ivory, I think. I really hope it's on focus. You know, last time I actually broke my lens and I just cannot focus anymore and then I have to manually focus. It's so troublesome. For the under eye circles, I don't really have under eye circles. I have this uh, the back. So I'm gonna use this Emily Instant H3 Line Concealer which I just got recently. I'm so happy. I have been wanting this one because they never really sold it uh, in Asia because it's only available in USA or maybe UK. So recently they imported this kind of import this and now it's available in any Watson or Guardian store in Malaysia and also in Singapore. I'm not sure about Indonesia though. So I'm not really into a perfect full coverage makeup because I really want to go all natural. Well, next, I don't really need powder. I don't really powder my face. Sometimes I do when I feel like I'm gonna go out all day long because this CC cream is pretty much matte. Last time, I actually broke my eyebrow pencils. So now I don't have anything. So I am using my eyeshadow as, a, as my eyebrows. I don't even have a proper brush to draw my eyebrow. So I'm taking this uh, flat kind of, it's not even an eyebrow brush. So yeah, I'm just taking what's available. Taking this shade first, I'm not gonna go into black first because I just don't want it to be like too dark and then at the end I have to rub it off. I want to go slowly and slowly. Okay, pretty much done on my eyebrows, I hope. <laughs> For the eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna use my concealer. Before I go and jump into the eyeshadow, I'm gonna contour my nose first because that's just what I do. I usually contour my nose before I do my eyes because I just feel like it's more defined. So I think I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm gonna use my pencil brush. Be honest, you don't, I don't really know and I'm not really sure whether I'm gonna upload this video that I'm recording right now. Because sometimes when I record a video, I just don't feel like I don't feel it's perfect enough Like the whole thing, the background, the camera, the focus Or the way that I talk, the way that I present on the video I just don't think it's perfect enough And I think it might be boring or something So sometimes I just record and just leave it like that Because I think it's boring Okay, now it's pretty much pink I'm gonna bring it a little bit down Alright, then I am gonna take this splash box palette that I got from my contest last time and I really really been loving this shade. I, I am actually very impressed. I wasn't sure about Smashbox because this palette isn't really famous like the other palette like Too Faced Chocolate Bar or something. The shade that I really really love is this one. I have been using this quite a lot lately as a transition shade or either as just to you know fill in my crease. Alright I'm done, I'm done and then now is the shimmering part. I am going to use this palette again, the slick palette and I'm gonna take this one. I think I'm gonna wet my brush first before I begin. One time is enough because I don't really want to waste my Urban Decay Long Lasting Spray. Apparently it's not that pigmented, maybe I'm not spraying enough. Fine, I'm gonna use my fingers. 
I've been using this uh, Innisfree Shadow Pencil in I don't know what shade But it's more of a champagne color and I have been loving this one Just make sure that it doesn't get into your eyes because if it is then the glitter actually hurts so much I just love to put glitters under my eyes because I just think that it makes my eyes pop more and just more awake, more alive, you know? Recently, I don't really wear mascara. The mascara that I have been using is this uh, Magnum mascara and what? It's waterproof. It's the yellow color. But sadly, it's much. All the mascara that I've tried, they all smudge. I am looking for a nice mascara that doesn't smudge at all because I really want to put mascara on. It's just that sometimes, I think like three hours later, it will smudge under the eye right here and it will look like a panda. So what's the purpose of you putting concealer if you're gonna end up looking like a panda at the end of the day just because you put mascara on. You get what I mean? Okay, next I'm gonna contour my face. I'm using Hula bronzer as usual. I'm gaining weight recently, you know. Uh, I'm gaining weight like uh, 3 kg. It's because of holidays and after break. As usual, my mom cooked a lot of delicious food and I just I can't stop eating. Well, thanks mom for that. And I have double chin. I'm just gonna make it as not double chin as possible. You get what I mean? Alright, now moving on to the blush. The blush that I am currently using is either my lip tint or the blush from the sleep. It kind of go along with my eyeshadow actually. Should I go with red lipstick or the pink one? The pink that I have is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beta. I love this one. It's very bright pink, but if you use it as a gradient, it will look wonderful and look so Korean kind of. But today, I think I'm just gonna go for red lipstick. Be right back. I'm back and I haven't put my lipstick on because I need to put my highlighter first. I usually use my fingers, uh, I don't really have a proper highlighter So I'm using Champagne Travel from Chocolate Bar Palette And yeah, I'm just gonna put on the bridge of my nose This helps to actually narrow down my nose and make it look higher And a little bit on the inner corner I'm just gonna wait until it reached to 200 degrees Celsius So now what I'm gonna do now is to straighten my hair It's a very simple and very straightforward So here is the makeup look. It's very simple. If I can do it, you can do it too. So, Merry Christmas everybody. Actually, Merry Blended Christmas and Happy New Year. So, it's kind of awkward always like this saying goodbye. And thank you everybody for spending your time with me. I really enjoy it. And I really enjoy having the time together with you guys. Just you guys listening to my crafts and thoughts and stories. And kind of, I'm really thankful. And it's kind of like having a friend getting ready together with, you know. So I'm not really feeling lonely deep inside. And so yeah, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, don't forget to do so on the red button down below. And if you enjoy this video, please do let me know and also two thumbs up so that I know that you guys enjoy. And so yeah, I guess that's all. It's always sad to say goodbye. So goodbye everybody. See you guys on my next video.